Oh, how's it going, guys? I'm just on uh, Nerf's homemade hooch. Uh, this is Nerf uh, prison liquor. Yeah, I stole it off a guy that I took out once a long time ago before I retired from, you know, prison duty in the Nerf prisons. And he told me how to make it. Guy was, I think it was armed robbery he was there. Anyhow, I'm drinking it because we're dealing with this. We're dealing with this line. Oh my god, this line. And he made this. Uh, actually, I'm kidding. You should know that I'm kidding. This is a target. This is the Nerf. Um, I have the box here, but I don't think I see it anywhere. But it's like, I think this is called the Alpha Strike line. Yeah. This is the Nerf Alpha Strike line. These are typically Nerf blasters that have, that are cheaper to make. So most people know how much a Nerf blaster is, say a battery operated one, like, like uh, the Rhino Fire, which is almost like costs, I think it was the blue one, but I'm not sure, costing hundreds of dollars to get. The camera ones, at least 70 to $80. Those are very expensive Nerf blasters. But then you take this, which is pretty much close to almost being a cent, because there are no screws, no pins, nothing metal other than the spring, and it's a jolt. And just pins, just, you know, holding everything together, and the plastic is so cheap that it's almost about to be brittle. You get the Nerf Alpha Strike series. Quite clearly, we have, I have the pack here for you guys, as it is my little brother's pack. We have the two Nerf Jolts right here. So it's quite literally a Jolt. I mean, you, you, you put a dart in here, which is the, these are the Alpha Strike darts. These are pretty much just Nerf Elite darts colored in like an orange tip and a yellow body. You put the dart in, you prime it, and you fire it. It fires like a jolt. You know, and same one with this one here. You pull it back, prime. Which I'll show you like here. And fire. It's simple. Then we get this one, which I think is the best of the line so far. Is this pit pistol, which is pretty much... Um, it's like a miniature version of the strong arm. It holds six rounds, no manual rotation, which is good. So it pretty much rotates on the prime. So you're going to get more with your buck with this one. The jolts are powerful, to say the least. So that's a sign that, that it's good. But again, six darts, six barrels. You prime this back, similar than the knife finder, but it's still a jolt inside. I mean, just one with a... Hair is in here. Similar to a... Uh, you know, it's similar to a jolt. I mean, the the mechanisms inside are jolt-based. You prime and fire, and this thing is more better than that rap, rapid-fire one from the Dart Zone series, because at least the darts do catch a little. The only downside is uh, I'm having a hard time priming this, so because the springs are tough. It's a pretty nice one. I like this one better. Handle's pretty comfortable. I mean, this is a jolt handle, so... But it's a lot smaller and a lot less comfy. Either that or I'm just... I'm just getting a little too old. My hands are getting huge. Um, but I do like this one better. It's a lot easier to use. And I think it has a lot more going into it. What doesn't is the worst of the Alpha Strike line, and that's this thing. This shotgun, how do I even put this here? So I already got two darts in here, but you could see that's where it fires. There is no sleeve covering here, and the barrel is not even a barrel at all. It's flat. Oop, uh, sorry, it was on the fire stick. It was on the fire stick here, so... Uh, what am I... What press? No, oh, here we go. Uh, just go back. Yeah, I was watching Law & Order SVU. So, it's a simple prime back, you know, simple prime back, you know, fires one at a time, sure. 
the barrel, not much of a barrel at all. I mean, there's no, like, fake rifling in here. It's very wide. Um, handles all right. And the pump grip, I really... It fits, but... Like, your hand's gonna slip through this. I'm telling you, I'm afraid to shoot my own hand. And, I mean, I, I'll be honest, performance on this one is just bad. It's already hard enough to pull these triggers. And this... I mean, all of them have got tough springs in them. Yeah, and sometimes the darts like to pop out of this one. I almost got one in. But yeah, this, but this is a horrible shotgun. I mean, it looks good. It looks like a Spaz 12. Like, you could just go guns a blazing with this. But it's not even a good flagship. This is a better flagship than the shotgun. But what is the purpose of this line? Let's ask about it. What is the purpose of the line? The purpose of this line is simply to make blasters cheaper. Get cheaper materials that are easy to process, even making these weird cutouts on every single blaster right here, including on the, on the little shotgun right here, these little holes here, which are not dart storage, so do not put your darts like this They are basically cheap materials for less of a cost. Now, is there any positives about this line? It's cheap, yes. You could buy it easily. I don't know how much money, though. The springs in each of them, including the shotgun one, have very tough springs. And you get, you get at least another Joel collection if you actually do have a jolt collection um they made another good pistol here that at least is comfy to use and the one thing that sells this line is not the price but these <clears throat> excuse me but these these are nerf perca cola bottles now these are not bottles to drink as i said as i said before and i showed you but this is basically if the dart uh Hits. Now, I'm actually going to use one of the jolts here. I'm going to use one of the jolts here to more show you in a proper fashion on one of the reasons for this target. So, you hold it like this. Well, if this is on a stand or anything, you hold it like this. And when it, when it fires, I'm actually going to go point blank on this one so you can see. It actually splits open. Now, they're not great. I've seen split open ones better because there's like a little divot going inside a little hole area on the other side to keep it, you know, together. This thing is, uh, it still breaks, as you can see. It still breaks, so it's not a good one. But you can actually set them up like this as easy targets, kind of like uh, how the Wild West used to do when they were shooting a little bit of the moonshine. Either that or how they used to do it back during the Prohibition era. I don't know. I remember this is during the 1920s when Prohibition was was uh, allowed. <clears throat> but yeah, it, this is mostly just their gimmick here saying, this is cheap, you can buy it. But to be honest, I wouldn't even recommend these things, to be honest. I mean, the shotgun's poor. The jolts are still jolts, at, at least. And this one is basically the best one, but uh, I doubt you would, you would have a long line with this one. I mean, these are cheap made blasters. I mean, these feel like Busby blasters. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I remember Busby blasters used this, the same type of cheapness where, you know, they have the manual rotating turret here and the plastic parts feel a little cheap. Like, I feel like I'm going to snap these pieces. And Nerf has been doing this a long time here, putting cutouts to save money. I just can't stand it, literally. There are better ways to do it, but not like this. Just not like this. The good side is, is that they're putting packs of this, kind of like they did with the Vortex line. And I think two reflexes as well, where you, including Dark Tag, where you can have two blasters, um, 25 darts... Well, four blasters, 25 darts, and uh, instructions and basically targets to go along with it. 
Man, I remember when um, I remember when Nerf used to do the 100 darts from the N-Strike line. I remember I saw a package of black whistlers and standard streamlines with a Nerf patch on it. I was like, oh, I wanted it. But sadly, I it's not seemed to be. The one disappointing factor here, and why do they always... The one disappointing factor that I have with with uh, with Nerf is that they always price their darts so high. I mean, a pack of twelve is like almost ten dollars. When a pack of the darts that I have, <clears throat> that I think every other Nerfer has, these uh, waffle head style darts here. They are way, way better than the Elites, and fly better. And surprise, surprise, if I can really say it, um, 200 a pack, it's not that expensive with these things. It's not that expensive. Um, the, dart, the darts themselves are not that expensive. The Nerf ones are. So, quite clearly, Nerf has to think of a new line that is not the... I, f I forgot that line. The one with those styrofoam darts that I don't like. Um, they have to think of one which can still do the foam baccarat, but at least like one that's a bit thicker, denser, heavier, uh, flies more accurately, at least, without putting a lot of false advertisement on it. I think Dart Zone was a lot more faithful. Their darts... Their blasters are a bit more unique. I mean, I still love this brand. I mean, it's Nerf or nothing, but... And hell, my name is the Toxic Nerfer. I wouldn't call myself the Toxic Dart Zoner. It would make no sense. Uh, so, quite clearly, if you really want this line because it's cheaper, it's cheaper to do. I, I, I understand, but for me, this is a blast. This is, this is something I wouldn't recommend. I mean, again, they're powerhouses. Well, s some of them. And they, they're they easier to take off, at least, as long as you don't hurt these internals. Again, they're not accurate. So, would I recommend this line? Only for the targets. I mean, I love these little bottle things. Um, I actually have new Nerf stuff to talk about. I'm also going to talk about the uh, darts and darts. So, I hope to be, uh, I hope for all of you to be entertained. So, as always, guys, stay scary. I'll see you next time. Um, probably the next couple of videos starting, uh, tomorrow will be Nerf related here. Because Toxic Nerfer is also back with some new stuff coming ahead. So, hope to see you there. And, I wish I, I wish I was old enough for alcohol, but, um, but I'm not. Catch you later.